got his silly head on folks today I apologise in advance for this there he is look um, we've got the same hoodies on we and have the same t-shirts we've got a very specific vlog for you today we decided we're going to do something we want to learn a bit and we're going to mm. bring you on the journey with us we're going to go fishing for Eid not a lot of something I've done before you know I'm no not, I've never really just, just fished like because that's been here he's full of Eid full kind of, of renowned for it innit yeah probably yeah. the most prolific Eid venue in the country um, and we just want to learn a bit a little bit about it and we said we'll do a vlog on it they're a cool fish do you know where they're from You've got some like facts here, and they're quite boring facts. facts. I think I've Scandinavia. Yeah. They're actually related to a golden orf. Um, you're having a lot of map facts today. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to get cracking yeah. down on the bank. We're just getting a coffee from the local cafe first. And Look at this painting on the wall. Yeah. It's not cool, isn't it? It's not an eye, though, is it? No, that's a bit copious. Right, we're going to catch them. Let's get them. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. I couldn't, I couldn't think him. of anything else to say. Let's get him. Not even got out of the cafe and he's eating his sausage roll. That is the thickest sausage roll I've ever had. Thick sausage, right? Isn't it? You're not used to a thick sausage, are you? Mate, the tiny one from where I'm from. <laughs> you can hardly get it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Look at tell you what you're making a mess. Yeah. Nice thing about yeah. coming to Aston is you can get all your tackle, all your bait. On site. You've ordered our bait, haven't you? I have. Special delivery. What we got, Ed? Magwars. Ma lots, many. Lots of them. Is that what we need for the hide? That's what you're going to need. How many we got there? You've got four pints each. You can always phone. We'll bring you some more to your pay. Will you bring us a coffee round as well? Bring you a coffee if you want a coffee. There's a cafe on site and everything. So much gear in here. Look at this lot. Got any eye tips for us, Edda? Not really. I can fetch somebody out who will have. Go on then. Current UK champion, Stevie. Oh, hey, oh. Hello, here we go. Oh, here he is, look. Hi, Steve. I don't know how it's about. Are you, you going to be drinking a coffee from this special cup? Is this your UK champs cup? Ah, oh, well done, mate. What an achievement. You are the best angler in the UK. It's true, isn't it? <laughs> right, come on, Tang. Let's go and drown some of these. Let's have them. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. Right. Oh, you're coming out and that camera's going off, aren't you? He's like a limpet under a rock or a hermit crab, isn't he? Like a turtle coming out of its shell. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this lad. Frankie's just putting his elastics in. Ooh. Wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be annoying if I let go now? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No? Oh, if I let go now, it'd ping back through. That'd be well annoying. I'm not going to be that guy. Don't worry. Thank Yellow you. hydro. Yeah. And they were all yellow. You give me it. Yeah, I did. Pay me later. This is how cheeky Frankie is. He's now getting passers by <laughs> to hold his top kits while he does his elastic. You're laser. This is a opposite a laser. Can't you get a machine to do that? Right. Yeah, probably Just will. Set it off like a little drone. So yeah, you yeah. Take the elastic out. And That's good. You could get a drone to do it. Come on then. You've got an audience for this one. Oh, Two of the greatest anglers in the universe. How are you going to kick off for these eyed? I'm going to put some ground bait in. Right, which is a bit different to yeah, normal. A little different to everyone uh, that said just blasting maggots. Yeah. So I'm going to put it all down one hole today, and you're going to do something a little bit different. All right. Try a couple of different lines, aren't you? We're going to try it between us to find the best way of catching them, aren't we? Yeah, so I'm going to put two loose pots, just like you fish down the edge and just fire, like sand castles. Right, is that the new prototype yeah, ground bait. prototype ground bait trying it today very nice all it's got in is basically a few mince worms did like them earlier. Uh, i don't want to put any maggots in just yet um i want to put some worms in see what the crack is i'm gonna loose feed over the top go on then get him in brother hops to him how far are we going tank 11 and a half meters exactly 11 and a half not not too far nice and comfortable yeah we even got Rooney's, this is Rooney's extension. Is it? Yeah. Not the first time you've had Rooney's extension in your hand, no. is it? What well, with the last? No. Why do, you, uh, why do you put it in loose like that tank, rather than a lot of people squeeze it into a ball for this yeah. kind of fishing? I feel like it just, especially when it's um, on a silty venue, I don't want to put rock hard balls in, because I feel like it's just going to go into the silt and 
I feel like putting in loose, it just spreads out on the bottom of it more. I lays on I top of it. Yeah, it lays on top of it and it spreads a bigger area. I like it. So when I start then, I'm assuming you're going to make me not put any ground bait in. Yeah, I don't, I think, don't put any ground bait in, start loose feeding or maybe put some maggots in or something. All right, and we'll see what, see what's different between the two approaches. Yeah, I just want to put it all down one, one line. So I, I think there's quite a few skimmers and stuff as well as hide in here. Ah, so you're thinking you might catch some other fish as well. Yeah. Well, that's no good. We want to catch hide. Hide, solely hide. Hide. Ideal. Hide. Ideal. Ideal. Frankie's disappeared, folks. He said he's not interested in uh, filming Matt, so I've had to step in. Moments like this, pal. You know your friends are, innit? Just gonna yeah. turn this round, pal. How do we turn it round? Let's have a little can look, you turn mate. Turn it round. I can, I think, somehow. There's a way of doing it, pal. Good camera people know how to do it. Yeah, I can't. No, I, I can't do can. it. Can't. So there you are. So come on, then. What are you doing? So I'm, like Frankie says, we're gonna between us try and learn how to catch them best. So rather than putting any ground bait or anything like that in. I am yeah. literally, I'm just going to pot a few maggots in to start. Not a lot, probably 100 maggots. Yeah. Little focused area yeah. to put my rig on. I'm going to start loose feeding straight away. It's a bit different. No ground bait, just maggots. Love it. Love it. Intense. You used to fish maggots a lot for hide, didn't you? Back in the day, pal. You used, to, you used to do loads of hide fishing, me and you. Yeah, we used to fish maggots at um, Carter Hall, didn't we, Carter back in the day? Hall, yeah. yeah. Casters and worms at Ranskill. Sesse, we used to do a bit of hide fishing. Sesse, that would go. That would cast a fishing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sesse. So you're taking your time yeah. and just rattling them in. Nice. No. Quite in a little tight area. Yeah. And then I'm going to start loose feeding, but that potting them in, when you start loose feeding me a catty, they go a bit of everywhere. I'm not yeah. very good with a catty. Stop it. But that little focused bit hopefully will mean there's a few on the bottom where my rig's going to be. Mm. Okay. And will you look to continue to pot or do you see that being the only time you're going to pot um i'll see how it's going i reckon mate to be honest i think mm. i'll try just mm. to lose feed but you know if you feel like you need to bring them back into a tighter area you can always pot a few in might even put a kinder style pot on yeah because interesting that me and george wrote about that yesterday do you remember I tell you where we used to big pot maggots and catch a load little john yeah little john lakes mm. yeah they were massive eyed, weren't massive they? Massive eyed, but also loads of them little left ones and carp and yeah. all sorts of things. Carp, weren't they, not left ones? Yeah. A couple of whites. Now, white versus red, this is an eyed debate, pal, isn't it? Yeah. I had an interesting conversation with Bennett about this, you know. He reckons that the eyes tell you which colour they're eating. He says if you look in the throat when you catch them, yeah. even if you feed him white and red mix, sometimes they'll have all red, Yeah. sometimes they'll have all mm. white, which I thought, that's interesting. Good theory. Yeah. Like it. See if you can get one, mate. The other one, like that, I always think is, I know it's more of a natural thing, but if they've got a gob full of maggots, you probably want to cut back. Yeah. They've not got so many. <laughs> Maybe up it a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Let's have a little looking on your float, see if we can see it. Can see I'm on, I'm on it, I'm on it. See yeah, on it. Stands out lovely, that does. Obviously, feeling just short of your. I, I always like float. to try and feed so like the last few maggots just tickle onto the float. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, same as me, I like that mate, I do. So most of them land sort of from like a metre short up to your float. So starting on the bottom, yeah? Yeah, bottom nice. seems to be the best place to start. I know there's a lot of fish shallow on here, but I'm going to start on the bottom, see what the crack is. Over the top of the ground bait? Yes. Uh, I'm going to start on two maggots. White, red? I'm going to start on white because it's quite a coloured water here, you know? Yeah, so I it think is. white will stand out a bit better than reds. So I'm going to put two on. I'm going to come through the, like, the thinnest end. Go on, then why do you come through the thin end? Well, you get as much hook point showing as possible. So there's one, and you hook the next one through the thin end. So basically, you've got most of your hook point showing. Like you've still it. got a bigger hook bait. Go on, then, ship her out. I'm going to ship out. I'm going to start loose feeding straight away because I feel like it's the one for drawing fish into your peg. Especially eyed. Especially eyed, yeah. I don't, don't feel like just cupping bait, you know, like you would do for F1s. Yeah. Is the one. I think eyed are generally greedy, aren't they? So I'm going to be quite aggressive, probably like 30 maggots, usually around me floor. Oh, oh. There so we that go. tells me something that, obviously, that were on the drop, that, which is probably the crack. Yeah, but it's quite, to say it's like October, it's still quite mild, isn't it? Is it an eyed? An eyed? Yeah. Yes. There's so many of them in here, mate. Brilliant. Look at What's that. That's like six, eight ounce. Nice so this, fish, isn't it? This, folks, is an eyed. And if you look, 
got a really big mouth, which is obviously why they're so greedy. Bit like you. Yeah. Lovely red silver fins, body. Isn't it? Look at that red Look at fins. That. Gorgeous fish, aren't they? Yeah, That's beautiful. the perfect example of an eye you've caught us there, isn't it? It's a lovely eye. Thank Do you, Do you want your picture of him? Yeah. All right. So what are you um, hooking your bait wise? Differently to me? Because I'm fishing shallow. I'm fishing one maggot and I'm hooking him through the side like that. Look. Show you again. Show you again. You've got a different look on than I have. 16 f1 pellet i've got on do you just prefer them it's just i just don't like tying two different lots up but yeah yeah i like to look it through the side see that like it why is that do you think that's because when you throw maggots in you watch them you always fall sideways down i didn't and see them I, I just throw them off throw them off when you throw them might not be able to see it but they always fall Ooh, sideways I can see them. so if you hook yours through the side like yeah. that that will fall the same as the ones that you're feeding. Okay. I just think, you know, like when you are fishing off the bottom? Yeah. You're watching it fall a lot more. Okay. Because once it's on the bottom, I don't think they're fucked. So you're fishing a bit further out than me as well. You're fishing 13 metres. Yeah, just under 13. Same thing with feeding though, mate. Oh, the only thing is, I'm feeding twice instead of once. Yeah. I'm fishing up in water, I want more bait falling through all the time to try and keep them in the upper layers. Yeah, you know, yeah. You sort of talked about um, mm -hmm. that might be might be an F1 that might not, be, might not be a big eye. But that, they are that a lot of better ones. Shall yeah. I? yeah. I just think it's you know like we talked about them being greedy fish. Yeah, maybe the bigger ones are intercepting it first. Yeah. Yeah, it's a I little chub, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was something different. Lovely chubbler. Lovely chubbly. Oh, good scoop. Oh, we've nearly uh, elbowed them. Decapitated the cutest dog on planet Earth. Look at that. Size of a chub's mouth. Mm. Like my missus, she's got a big mouth. And I've got a little maggot. <laughs> Can't say that, can I? <laughs> probably not. I think not. you can. I mean, you can it. probably get away with that. Just leave yeah. it in. That's a perfect example yeah, yeah. of you Look and me. Look at that. <laughs> Look at size of his mouth tank. I wonder if you can get in that. A maggot. Easy, that, that, that's a size that's there. a size 16 hook lovely, lovely chub yeah but but it's different to fishing on bottom in it like when you're fishing shallow you need to feed a bit yeah. less but more regular a bit more aggressive in not in terms of volume just regularity yes innit? try and keep what a in. word regularity regularity word of the day until <laughs> i went to uni and I think the other important thing is when you're fishing right. shallow, flip your rig in. Let me flabby focus, hang on. So it's out, laid out flat. Like so do it again. You ready? Right, hang on, hang on, let me get focused. Go on, oh yeah, it's alright then. I'm flicking it in. Yeah. It's laid out flat. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. And then fire your maggots in. Okay. And then just sort of hold your line. I've got two back shots, just like you have. Yeah. And oh, I saw it, that. They almost pull your elastic out for you. Yeah. If you hold it nice and tight. Yeah. I like it, really nice mate, look good. What sort of rig have you got on then? Let's have a little run through with that. To show you? Yeah, show me, because it's interesting, because it's slightly different to what I've got. It is, I've got, I, I've got a 16 hook, same as you, but yeah. I use an F1 pellet instead of a maggot, just yeah. personal preference. I've got O10 Pure, I like fluorocarbon. Okay. Just feel like in winter, water's going clear, they might not be able to see it as much. Whether that's true or not, yeah. I don't know. Um, and then my main line's 013 Engage, use it for all my silverfish main lines. And then I've got six inch up length. Yeah. And then I've got four number 11 micro shot, yeah. equally spaced. And then I've got two under my float, just cause that's what this 0.15 carbon slim takes. And I put any extra, I like four down my line, and I put any extras under the float. It just helps it get through that surface yeah. tension. I like that. 0.15 gram, exactly the same float as you, yeah. all the same reasons. And then I ain't got any micro cubes, so I just use shot. Okay. Two number eight shot. Did you spread them out when you copied me? Uh, I just like it to, you know like when you flick your rig in, you, you copied need me. to hold your line. You copied me. Let's and just tell everyone you copied me by spreading them my out. My elastic is yellow hydro. Yeah, lovely. And that's Why are you using yellow? Just because it's a bit shallower, you don't want them splashing. It's softer for when you are fishing shallow, yeah. So they just swim out your peg a little bit easier, quicker. Let me have a little look. Side up maggot. Side up maggot. 16 F1 pellet. And in we go. In we go. It'd be interesting if I get one now, you know, because I've been talking and I haven't fed as regular. Mm -hmm. You'll either get one really quick or you might take a while to get them back. Might be a big one. 
Can everyone see that? Yeah, I think we can. Put your pull a bit to the right. Might yeah. Might if I do that though. Listen, the viewers need to see it. Oh, see? sorry, oh, go under. Yeah. And you missed it. Yeah. Right, pull slightly to the right. I'll miss my bike if I do that. It needs oh. to be like above it like I that. I know, I know. It's okay. There we Whee! Go. Saw that. Happy with that? Yeah, look good that. You can see why them backs are important. You like two of the three fish I've yeah. caught have literally pulled me elastic, haven't they? Yeah. So you need to keep that tight line. Everything about flicking your regard straight, holding it tight. Really important. I like it, mate. Really good. Nice tips. Yeah. Well done. You're getting my team if I had a if I had a fishing team. Look at that. Beautiful. Even fish. I'd have got big mouths. Ideo. Yeah, they have. I think they are really greedy fish. They've got big eyes. They're actually predatory, you know. Oh, here we go. In Facts, Matt here fact, we come. Matt fact. Yeah. In the natural environment, honestly. They, yeah. um, Where are they from? Scandinavia and Northern Scandinavia. Europe. Right. Get them in right. places like Holland, <laughs> the, Danube, the Danube, all that yeah. sort of thing. Right. Um, but when they get big, they get predatory. So they eat fish. You catch them on spinners and stuff like that. And um, although they're not indigenous, word of the week, yeah. to the UK naturally. They have got into a lot of rivers now. There's quite a few being caught on the on trend. trend. I, used to, I yeah. caught one when I was about 16. Yeah. Got another one. Um, on the River Calder. That's what I mean. Yeah. Because they're, they're, in, big. they're in places like this. And when these venues flood, they get out and get into the rivers. And um, I don't think it'll be long before they actually naturally breed in the rivers. Yeah. Nice sound. Beautiful fish. Lovely, isn't, isn't it? it? I reckon I can get another one on that maggot. Do you? I do, yeah, but I'm not going to film. It's been going seven and a half minutes and you keep going on about Scandinavia. Great place. Thanks, mate. Lovely tips. I'm a great guy. I think my nose hairs need trimming. You're a good looking man. I, I think. am, Arna. I, I am. You're a great looking Unbelievable. man. Unbelievable. One more fish. You move your head. There we go. Oh, missed oh it, you missed it. Oh, you missed it. I even saw two it. Two I've missed today, you know. I thought you were going to say this year. Three now. Nah. No, it's coming here. Miss bite every show. One more. Oh, Three. Yeah, that was good. Nice one. The rig's working lovely, isn't it? Like him. Hmm. Happy with you. Very He's nice, mate. Hmm. Maybe. It's not quite as good as my rig, but it's getting there. Beautiful fish. So this is the new bait that I showed you this morning, folks, that we're testing. What do you think to it, Tank? Do you Don't, like it? I knew you were going to do, do that. Do you like it? No. Do you not like it? Just have a smell for me. Have a smell. Yeah, it's nice. I had a fish on then. Did you? Just have one more smell for me. <laughs> Cruelty, mate. I mean, my maggots have gone everywhere now. Oh, oh got you got one. Eye. Is it an eye, though? Is it an eye? I guarantee it's an eye. It's, you know oh, what it it's is? come off. No, no, it's still on. <laughs> is it? Oh, it's a ghost eye. Ghost eye. <laughs> Big one. Look at this for service at Aston. They've got their own cough. Barista. Is it a barista? They barista, call barista. 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 Look, barista I've ever Look at that. Man. Thank you, Literal. love. You You're absolute welcome. legend. Cheers, Tank. <laughs> you can't swear. We've got vlog on. I didn't swear. <laughs> Flipping heck. Well, you might, you'll see I didn't swear. All right. <laughs> we were struggling to catch, weren't we, Tank? So we've got the Aston Barista on. Yeah. Barista. Let me just get my coffee. <laughs> What's your top tip for hides, Stu? You, 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 which is best peg on complex, Alex. Definitely this one. Is it really? Definitely, 100%. Come on, that's making hard work of this tank. Sorry, I like how you're filming now. You can't <laughs> tell... Venue owner here, he says it's best peg on complex. Making a right mess with it. Making a pig's ear in it. Yeah, he's better on a feeder. He's better on a feeder. It's not what I do. He is. Ask me who run in bank at Oh, no, yeah, that's true, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. He's wore his trainers out now. <laughs> He's got one, look. He's got one. Oh, yeah.
How, um, so how are you presenting your rig tank when you're shipping out there for these eyes? Well, I'm fishing on the bottom. I am going to fish shallow later on as well because I feel like there are that... definitely going to be some fish shallow. Yeah. But I usually just pop my bulk in, which I'll show you what the rig in that detail later on. But I'm going to pop my bulk in just like that. Yeah. And then all I'm going to do with it, kind of like S it. Yeah. Like follow it like that. Do it again for you while I'm zoomed in a bit, right. will you? See it now? Yeah. So I drop my bulk in. Yeah. And then I follow it to the left. Yeah. And then right. So obviously we're fishing in about six, seven, well, probably seven foot to be fair. Yeah. And then you're, you're literally just following your bulk in. So you're right on top of where I fed that brown bait. Oh. And you, you, oh. Ooh, I missed it. So I'm going to do it again. Like S it in. Like that. S it in. And obviously I'd usually lose feed over the top of this now, but I, um, for purposes of demonstration, Matthew, I'm going to try and nail the fish straight away. See if we get a bite. So there you've got a black bulk and a couple of, look at that. Right, right, perfectly example of them little tiny, You get little, little, little bite, even though they're decent fish, you do get little bites, little don't bites. you? And I, um, and I think it's so important that your float's dotted to a pimple. Right. So that's why these like little hollow bristle floats are perfect because they dot right to the, the, the bottom of that um, bristle, right to the tip of it, sorry. Okay, where's my discord? Ah. Oh no, you, you dropped his arm Right, this is how I'm going to do this, right? So I'm going to tie this at it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 go. <laughs> All right. There we go. Right, back to home. All right, and this is what you do now. <laughs> go on then. All right. I usually do this every single time. Don't I go. always get a flab when you're filming, Tank, does yeah, it? Get ready for this. This is, this is going to be still. Go on. Right, this is what you took call like. Really, oh, look at that. This is about being quick and efficient. <laughs> so important. You get to clean your top kit out yeah, as you're clean, fishing. Clean your top kit out so it's nice and you know, like perfect. So run through your hands now. <laughs> get a couple more maggots on. There we go. He's not flustered. The fishing here is a joke, you know. It's ridiculous, isn't it? So many eyes in here. Let's watch your ship out and nail another one then. Let's... Right, so just like I said, ship out. Bulk in, right on top of where you put the bait, so you've got your far bank marker. Yeah. S it in. Now I'm going to loose feed, because I ain't loose fed now. Yeah, you didn't feed anything last time because you got a bite so quick. Keep putting me off. So I feed, try and feed the bulk of my maggot just this side of my float. Yeah. That were a tiny dink, then you see it. Yeah, you strike at little bites. Is that something that you do yeah. quite a lot? Right. Usually, even skimmers and stuff. You know, that's why it's so important to... Oh, I one on the bottom, on the way down there. Could be maggots, that. How do you take two? Greedy. But yeah, always strike at little tiny, like, dinks. Even F1s. Carp, not so much, because they just, like, wallop under, don't they? Two maggots. Keep her out, keep your fall nice and low so you don't hang the rig. Bulk right on your fire bank marker, S it in. 30 and maggots in the cutter. Maggots. maggots in your catapult, maggots in your catapult. Wallet. Just this side of your float, try and group them as much as you like, as tight as you can. Oh. So we like little tiny little dragons, a lot of them as well. It's got going quick though, hasn't it? Like yeah. that. It's obvious that there's loads of fish. There is a lot of fish. That's why people come here though, especially yeah. this time of year in winter. These eyes, they feed all year round. There's so many of them. If you want to come and have pleasure fishing or, or a match and you want loads of bites, perfect kind of place to come. Brilliant. Craig, brother, talk me through it. Eyed deck rig coming right up. I am an eyed specialist. You are now. So I'm going to run you through everything that I've got. Nine Ola. Nice and soft when it comes out, but still enough power so they're not going to run you around everywhere. Yeah. And I've got two number nine micro cube back shot there. Yeah. Really light back shot, keeps you nice and direct above your float so you can hit into them little tiny little dinks. Love it. Love it. 0.25 Guru F1 Slim there, the carbon version. Yeah. I like carbon because I've got a lot of my bikes have been today on the bottom. Um, on the bottom? Bikes, on the drop. On the bottom, but on the drop. Even so, though you are fishing on the bottom. Exactly, yeah. As soon as that float kind of just settles, it goes, think, and you Wh get them Why up. carbon for that then? I just prefer it because wires straight away, it's fishing all the time. Yeah. So when you ship it out and you lay your bulk in, it's, your, your wire stem float just sits perfectly upright. As in upright every single time. Whereas carbon kind of follows it in and I feel like it follows it in and all of a sudden the, the bristle just settles and goes, think, just prefer carbon when you're fishing like on the drop. Nice, nice. Show me that buzziness end. Right. 
main line is 014 Engage Supernatural. It's a new line that we're uh, going to be bringing out next year. I've uh, been trialling it for ages now, very happy with it. Like it. Um, bulk wise and shotting, um, it's kind of like a staggered bulk, if you can see that. It's, yeah, I can these see are it. number 11 uh, micro shot. I've got a couple of number 13 just trimmer shots there, micro cubes. But it's, there's like a little three in a little row there. Yeah. There's probably like, I don't know, a couple of centimetre gap between them. Then there's like an inch gap there for the next one. Yeah. And then four inch gap, and then five inches to the, the final one. Which so I've, so it starts close together, gets yeah. further away towards your upland. It gets further away, because it's still quite a positive little bulk, that. Yeah, It's all yeah. within like a foot and a half of where me, me hook bait actually is going to be sitting on the bottom. Yeah. I don't want too faffy a rig. Got ya. So, hook length, loop to loop connection. I've got a six inch hook length of 010 Engage Supernatural there. Uh, and a size 16 F1 maggot. Like really it. Really nice. Like it, brother. Don't have to fish out too stupidly heavy for these eye because they're not massive fish no, they, they don't, don't fight that hard they're no. not wobblers aren't they they're just wobbling but you don't want anything too soft so you're spending ages like trying to get them in the net nice yeah, cheers mate run through. slide on brother slide on brother you slide brother can i get a slide, slide, on, on, slide on brother slide on brother this is the problem with firing lots of maggots <laughs> in isn't it tank anyone want any maggots this is what happens they get everywhere put them in back in my tub how did they get there? They Grimming. must drop down here when you're loose feeding just, and go into your shoe. Good as crushed a lord. Oh. Grim, innit? Yeah, your mum's going to have to wash them for you now. Good old Yvonne. What is it? It's Census Lake. It's not yeah. Census Lake. It's not. No. What do you think it is, that ground bait? You have a smell. Tell us what you think. Where are you fishing, Oh, right? it smells like right celly. Celly? Yeah. It smells like Go on, what do you think it is? Oh, have, you put, have you put any of that cell liquid in it? I haven't put any of the cell liquid in it. Oh. Now what, Babby? I think he's got one. Go on, what do you think it is? Have a guess. You can guess what ground bait it is. Yeah. I'll give you 20 quid. Pole. Give uh, me pole. Actually, yeah. Uh, is it? You get one guess. Sell? Take your time. No, you're wrong. No, you're not getting no. the pole. Uh, okay. I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, it's one of the kids. Got a kiss behind. Only F1's getting it. Only F1. So, I don't know what it is, that. Oh, what? Ingredients. Is it, smell it. Have has it right? got any pellet in it? Nicholas, it's got a bit of pellet right in it. Smell of it. You think twice. it is? Definitely got some pellet in it. Oh, good one. Uh, I don't know. It's definitely got some expanders in it. Yeah? No. You've in got it. it all over your face. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's a prototype, that is. When's it coming out? When's it coming out? Yeah. Might lend you a ball. Gonna borrow a ball of it for the weekend. Yeah. Definitely seems better, mate. You on the bottom and... Having put that ground bait in, you're sort of coming back on every time. Yeah, I think I've noticed when you, cause you're fishing shallow a lot more than me, um, and I've noticed you get like two or three really quick, as in like mm. instantly. But then your next three or four ships out, you don't really get one, and you miss an odd bite. So I think fishing on the bottom is a, a bit more of a safer bet, you know, more consistent. Yeah, yeah, especially with it dropping cold or going into winter yeah, now. I think definitely. it'll be less and less shallow fishing. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to start topping up with a little bit of ground bait, you know, like an odd little one-handed Yeah, pair. same mix as you fed at the start. Yeah, same mix that I fed at the start. Um, just with a few worms in, maybe an odd maggot, just so there's a bit of bait on the bottom. Yeah. But one thing I have noticed as well is loose feeding wise i still want to loose feed because i think that's the best way of drawing new fish into your peg but as you can see from that it's like a full pouch full yeah of yeah maggots. so it's a bit bigger volume of bait in one that. 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 lovely and consistent now you're coming yeah. back with one every time you're definitely a bit smaller i think you know on bottom but yeah but you are coming be interesting come and have a look at them i'm catching shallow yeah but you are coming back with one literally i mean that's two in a minute and a bit yeah, you can catch, and this is another thing as well is, sometimes I always hate trying to 
come shallow, then back on the bottom. You're flitting about. Especially, you're never really committing to anything. Yeah, yeah. But it can bite you on the bum. So in a match conditions, if all the fish are shallow, like the bigger ones, and you say focus a lot of your match on the bottom, you could weigh like, I don't know, 10, 15 pounds less than someone that's fish shallow. Be a busy fool almost, yeah. yeah. But I, all I will say is I have caught quite a few like bigger ones on this as well. So you're not missing out as such. No, you might always catch like a skimmer or F1 yeah, or well, caught two chub. something else on it. Yeah, yeah. So big pouch of maggots. Big pouch of maggots, just once rather than like two or three times. And then Walla. Just... That's a better one, isn't it? Yeah, slightly better, I think. Like it. What elastic's that tank? That's a nine hollow, that is. It looks lovely. Yeah, it's fishing really nice. It's, you know, it's, you're not ever going to be like messing around with like a single six or anything. It's still. That's a better know, one. He's, what's yeah. he? 12 ounce? 10, yeah. 12 ounce? Probably Hold 12 him up. Ounce. Let's have a look at him. But that yeah, like nine hollow is just perfect. It's probably 12, 12 ounce him, definitely. Great fishing, isn't it? Yeah. That's like three in two and a half minutes. It's, um, it's, it's lovely fishing, especially in magic middle of winter, you know, it's freezing. And it oh. is it is like this in winter here. It's a, brilliant. A lot of people are sitting in like the middle of a reservoir, not catching <laughs> a car. So then you can come and get a bite from one of them every chuck. So I do, I like them. I, I haven't really fished a lot for them, you know, like I said at the start of the vlog. But yeah, I can see why people love them. Oh, it's fantastic. Mm. There's a brilliant silverfish league here, gang, as well, yeah. on Saturdays through winter. So if you fancy it, give Alex Mitchell a ring at... Aston Park and get booked on. So many silvers in here, it's a joke. Oh, oh, oh he can nice. handle the pressure, can't he? Got an audience here, look, Steve. Dogs, kids, venue owner. Awesome fish, aren't they? What's your biggest weight or hide you've had here, Steve? Um, over 100 pounds. 100 pounds or hide? Well, it's had 99 at winter when they were frosting. Really? Mm. You still catch them shallow when it's freezing cold? Uh, some days do. Nice. He's not giving much away, is he? No, Keep it very he's, secretive. He's very coy with it. Right, this pressure's on now, Steve. It's got to be a 9 out of 10. <laughs> Hey up, what's that dog? Give you eight. I'm going to give you eight. I don't like them ones. Oh. oh. Dog watching here now, look. Hello. Hey, hey. Look how many eyes are actually in here. So many. Brilliant fishing in it. Solid. So good. Is the eye juggler? Mm. <laughs> you don't want to get mucky. You don't want to get mucky. <laughs> well, the best thing, in my opinion, about today and Aston, Matt's catching some fish there. We also have some caddies. Nicholas, the Aston caddy. Good lad. Quicker, quicker. What a lad. What have you got on there? Get a video. A good cameraman is always on hand, Matthew. Pulps. What is it? Celia camp. The next thing to fish from the ice age. You think it is? What do you think it is, Nicola? F1. I'm going to get up for this. What is it? What is it? F1. Creating the tension tank. Creating the tension. Yeah. What could it be? F1. Build the narrative. F1, <laughs> Build the narrative. Drekker, Nicholas, what do you think? You change, from, you change from a carp, though. You can't say F1. Hard what for? Carp. I reckon it is. Uh, it only looks like it's far. Yeah. F1. Yeah. I said call it straight away, Nicholas. I'm right, you're wrong. That time, beautiful fish. Look how thick it is. Oh, the massive in here. Ah, Nicholas. Give me a kiss. Go on, Nicholas. Give me a kiss. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe he kissed it. Lovely, oh. isn't it? 
There's a photo here. No. Please? No. I want it for my Facebook page. I'm fed up of taking pictures of you. I know, I'll stop catching too many now. So, Nicholas, what is everyone watching have to do? Uh, like and subscribe. What to? Tackle Guru. YouTube page. Yeah. You're the man. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He's a good lad. He's got a nice Give Guru t-shirt. Give me a slide. Give me a slide. Give me a slide. Right, I'm going to teach you something here. Yeah. This is Turbo Slide. Are you ready? Know, You've had it before. Turbo Slide. Turbo slide. Turbo slide. There's a cadet and there's even a tackle cleaner. Oh, clean it, scrub it. Go on, clean the rod back. Clean it. Oh, there's a bit there. Get in there. Oh, and on the side. Yeah, and on the side. Oh, EVA is absolutely amazing. Wipe clean, isn't it, USP? Have you got the 700 and the 900? I've got three of each. Do you have one? Yeah. Here you are, Bob. Go on, give him one, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Nicholas. You. Such a kind bloke, mate. Yeah. That's for carrying out gear. Yeah. There you go, mate. I ain't got any end caps for it. Alright. Uh, See you in a bit. See you, mate. There's one in there. Oh, it's yeah. it. See you later, pal. See you, mate. Bye. Bye bye. Such a nice lad, you see, Tang. You know what? You're a giver. Really nice, aren't I? Stop recording a second. Yeah. Right, Nicholas, bring it <laughs> <you> back. <laughs> Well, there you go, gang. Have you enjoyed that tank? Look at that lot. Unreal. How many fish we've got there? Now? Odd F1 as well. Loads of ride, so definitely hit the target, mate, there, aren't we? Definitely. Look at how many uh, fish we've got in that. Probably in less than four hours? Yeah, four. We've probably fished for about four that. hours. Look at the size of some of them. That's big in there, last off. But that is the kind of fishing you can have, folks. If you want to targeting silverfish in particular yes i they feed all the way through winter don't they like middle of winter catching all them fish would be mint yeah you've got a wet face now no i just literally just ruined my face it's got a wet face left it's horrible you can stink oh